In part 2, I'll cover absolute references. This is another important topic, so stick with me for the next couple of minutes. Absolute cell references are like anchors in your spreadsheet. They stay fixed when you copy a formula, giving you precise control over your calculations. You have the commission percentage in a single cell C4. To calculate the total amount of commission from the total amount, you have to multiply the total by the commission percentage. So the formula in cell F7 is equal to E7 into C4. Press enter and you get the answer. Applying the fill handle up to cell F15 doesn't give us the correct result. If you choose the F8 cell, the formula is E8 into C5. The cell range has changed due to relative reference and the C5 cell is empty. So the formula returns 0. To solve this problem, we have to log the reference of C4. Select cell F7, go to the formula bar and select the cell reference of C4. Press the F4 key once on your keyboard and two dollar signs will appear. Now this reference is locked. Press enter and apply the autofill feature. Yes, it's working now. Cell C4 is locked in every formula. So absolute referencing is ideal for scenarios where certain values or constants need to stay consistent across multiple calculations. Here's a quick challenge for you. If you have a formula in cell H7 that says equal to C7 into C4, press enter and you drag it to cell H10, what will the new formula look like? Drop your answers in the comments below. Stay tuned for the next part.